Yo, what's up, crazy? It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we are having something special. We have a special guest on today, and he's gonna be helping us via coaching Superman gameplay. And you might be guessing who it is. The number one placement Superman in tournaments is here in our presence. Anthos! Anthos is insane. Uh, he keeps placing in tournaments, and he really utilizes Superman to the fullest. He has a unique play style. I mean, it shows, it works. He's very good at the game, so he was gracious enough to come on video today and uh, help help me. I should be sharing my gameplay so he can watch, analyze, and then uh, for future games you can critique my gameplay. Possible one v one, actually implement those skills that he's gonna give to me. Hey, hopefully he's impressed, guys. Hopefully he's uh, impressed a little bit. Yo, what's good? What's good, man? How you been? I'm doing good, man. Have you ever coached anyone in the past or anything like that? Oh, I've given tips, but I don't think I've ever done anything like this. Yeah. Uh, I can give like some tips now. Oh, well, first of all, obviously I haven't seen your gameplay, but I don't know if you run, um, cause I know, I mean, I'm assuming if you use Superman, you use ice a lot, right? Yeah, I've actually watched a couple of your tournament matches. Yeah, so I've been uh, utilizing think... the ice a lot. I didn't realize yeah, it. I think, um, in slot one, I think you should run that flammable if you're not already. Yep. Um, that's why I changed it, because I didn't realize ice affected yeah, ice that. Yeah, projectile for whatever that's reason. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely very strong. Uh, do you know Do you know the optimal combo? Like, um, like what, do you, what do you go for with a oh. hit? I can go to training right now to show you. Oh, yeah, sure. From what I know, uh, this is optimal. Like, obviously, you can go for tech reads, obviously, but for guaranteed damage, I'm pretty sure this is the optimal. Okay. So jab there, rapid jab up tilt say. Okay, yeah, because I watched one the before the tech, so obviously yeah, that's what the... I go for now, so it's looking. But okay. if I want to go for a read, obviously you can just loop jab there and then go for like a tech chase read. Mm hmm But usually I just go for the guaranteed damage, it's just a safer option. Um if I have somebody on ledge though, I won't go for um actually it depends on the percentage. Like if they're at zero, I'll probably go for this. Just for the damage and try to get a read. But if I have them like at mid percentages, they like I don't know. Oh my god, it goes by ones now. This game is so <laughs> awful. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, say I have them like at ledge. I'll probably go for something like down tilt if they're at mid percent so I can do this scenario right here. Uh, so yeah. obviously edge on ledge is very strong. So if they're like at 60, I wouldn't go for like a neutral level up tilt because those are your kill moves on ledge because it's not mm -hmm. going to kill and I'd rather have somebody under me as super yeah. and going above me. That makes sense. So yeah, uh, obviously, if somebody's burnt out and they're on wall, checkmate scenario is basically just this. They can't do it. Most characters can't do any of that. I'm pretty sure only Harley and Wonder Woman can stop this. Like, if somebody's burnt out on wall, going for this is just like... Oh, yeah, they're burnt. They're, they're, yeah, they're basically dead. Can't really do anything. Yeah, obviously, neutral is just like, you know, ice breath, dodge and jab. This is ridiculous, the distance he gets. True. I figure a lot of characters get that distance um no. a lot of people are in the air a lot versus superman so obviously dodge and jab you have to use sparingly but that's right that's why i don't think stairs that bad right now because a lot of people are uh, hopping empty hopping a lot to not get hit by dodge and jab which is fair but sarah's like feels very fast mm. so like i wouldn't i wouldn't use sarah like this obviously <laughs> because because of the nerf like yeah i'm in a bad habit like, right now of using that we'd rather, if you want to get in with something i'd go i'd use it there it's way further and it causes ground bounce so True. you can get jab after. It's like, so you IOD no, dodge and jab. Sometimes it's like 50 50. I think that's Superman's biggest issue. He doesn't really get something guaranteed off of Sarah and jab. I think I'd like prefer like ice to get a meter and then like Nair and Sarah guaranteed ground bound so I can get jab. But oh, yeah. if you want to approach, I wouldn't do Sarah. I'd just do it now. Sarah's really good if somebody's like empty hopping a lot and doesn't want to play on ground. You just want to use this as a poke. Not really good for sense. like jump dodging. Yeah. If you want to like close the distance with something that's not dodging jab, like when I mix up your options, I just go like very hard to react to. Um, lasers, obviously. I know I see you like jab, 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 and then you get like a guaranteed nair. Is that like at a certain percentage? Jab, jab, nair. Oh, uh, neutral or, or like when you finish the whole um, the oh, jab. Neutral, so Yes. You mean yeah. this move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, so basically, this this is, um, thank, thank you for mentioning this. I was meaning to do this. You, you basically have to count to nine jabs for it to okay. be optimal, right? So if you were to go like, and do it like this, yeah, yeah. that's not true. But if I, you go, I kept doing ready, that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then it's true. Okay. So it's, it's, it's the last punch before the combination finishes. So just count to nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So any percentage? Uh, yeah, like, it works. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't go for Danny because if you if you hit them with jab when they're at zero, you might as well just go for. Oh yeah, yeah. But like if they're on the edge right. or something. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is a lot more reliable. If you don't want to do the rapid jab, you can just do jab, dare, jab, jab, up to, and then because like, like, if you do this, this pushes away. So this is only good at low percents to go for. So if they're like at this mid percent, do jab, dare, jab, jab, up to, and then up the, uh, miss it there, but up air is true out of that. And okay. up air is like a fuck ton of knockback. So you're killing lighter characters at like 60. Right. Oh yeah. With the DR maps wrong. Too? Yeah. That's crazy. When you have somebody on wall, they like to panic a lot because when you're icing, obviously they can't just sit there, so they try to like burst up with like a jump dodge option. Mm hmm. So when you're in the scenario, I'd say yeah. I'd like. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to go for a hard read, you can either go grounded up special, you can go up till, or you can do jab. The, my favorite thing is probably just do jab, trying to catch their option as they're coming up wall, because then you can just do down tilt yeah. and it resets the ice scenario. Gotcha. Would you do like the full. The full jab? No, I do, because if you do the full jab, down tilt sends less downwards, and I want them below me, so I'll do jab, jab, down tilt, so it sends them as far down as possible, and then just go back oh, to okay. icing. Oh, so when you do and the it, full jab and then down tilt, it doesn't? Oh, it sends don't... more like straight. Oh, when you do jab, okay. jab, down tilt, it sends like more like this. Yeah, if you if you don't if you don't want to do jab, though, you can do all your armored options. This is really good if somebody's <laughs> like doing this to recover, because you this kills ridiculously early, grounded off social up there. I love that move. I like how it was useless in beta, and now it's, yeah, it's actually godly. Really good, though, one of his best <laughs> moves, but the yeah, Superman's just a lot of dodging, jabbing, and if somebody's playing the air, just poke with Sir. Then when they're on the wall, ice, and as they're recovering, either do jab to catch them as they're coming up the wall, and if they're doing this, like a dodge attack, do one of your armored moves, Ooh. preferably. Neutral is just this. Then you can do. Maybe has three options. He is either icing, dodging, jabbing, or dodging, narrowing. Um, Makes sense. I, think. I mean, sometimes a lot of people like to uh, dodge out. So if you if you want to go for like an omega read, you can probably go like jab there, da, 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 then do this. If they Girl, I love that one. I actually did that early. That yeah, so you can go for like if you know somebody's dodging out a lot, you can go for the sniper punch read after you do the jab. Mm -hmm. Like don't finish the jab, just go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then like the. That one I did figure out at least. <laughs> but all the other stuff yeah. is really good. Obviously lasers, you have your like little confirms like. That's a confirm, then I like a higher percent you can go for up air kills really early too, so that's a good confirm to have. Yeah, the, I'm not in the habit of doing those. I usually like fly because I'm keeping my distance away. Just Fly's good after laser hits too. Yeah. I think up air has the most knockback out of those options, so I try to go for the. He has like this moon jump sex, so if you dodge up and jump, and it's only one bar of dodge meter, it can also be performed with no meter. So like, I think it's pretty good for recovery, so you don't have to waste all your options. Oh, true, and it's only like one bar dodge meter. I did figure that That's out like, for like a up, finisher yeah. after you do like up tilt or something, but I haven't implemented yeah. it very well. I didn't think about it on the air or like off the stage. That's just a uh, beginner advice. Now just watch your gameplay if you want. Very good tips coming from the legendary Anthos already. Now I'm overwhelmed. Lovely ranked matchmaking. 75 second Q. Yeah. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> I really have like no motivation to play ranked if yeah i don't blame the you. reward is samurai jack skin i'm good on that <clears throat> yeah they released the grandmaster like banner reward but i think what they should have done is they should have like made the character you got to master should have been like the very in samurai jack but i should have just did that for everybody if you got uh, the character yeah. to master. i agree all right joker matchup obviously just freeze cards and then nope see that's my bad habit right there oh good Dude, that balloon I've realized is kind of insane. He can combo out of stuff almost immediately. Yeah, he's very fast too. He moves fast. Oh, very nice. Yeah. yeah, I haven't warmed up and now watching a, a god Superman watch my gameplay now. I'm not a little nervous here. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to deal with Flood, to be honest. He probably could just... <laughs> It's true. <laughs> a little bit gimmicky, but... Get up to... Nice Joker side view. Yeah, dude, I... Every time I swear it gets longer in the hitbox. How did you do jab, though? Jab, 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 jab. Nice, consistent. I was, like, mentally thinking of what you were telling me, and I, my, my brain autopilot. Like jab there, jab jab up to. Then if they di out, sir. If they di in, up to. Uh, drop because using burnout, you could have mashed.
Nice. Yeah, try to get extra credit here. I just hold ice, try not to get hit by Opsu. Get some extra credit if you can. Good idea. Oh, okay. Oh, oh fuck yeah. You could have gotten jabbed there without dodging. You okay. Again, I think. It just depends how close they are to you and if ground bounce happens. If they ground bounce and they're far, you have to dodge, but if he just ends up in front of you like that, you can just jab. Because he was so close to you. I would have rolled jabbed right there, you would have got more value. You can armor his balloon. He's burnt, chase. Yeah. That whiffed, buff Superman. Oh wow, that killed him. Right, he's, not, he's not playing insanely early, so I'd give him more dodge and jab looks, and then I'll okay. take the jab, jab, there, jab, jab, up to say. There's a moment you said uh, like I could have mashed out. Uh, dropped because he was in burnout. You could have mashed. Of something. Uh, he, was... he was uh he tried to do a combo, but he was in burnout, so you could have mashed because the combo wasn't true because he had no meter. So there's like space between. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, because you need you need dodge meter to like do like dodge moves. Oh, that's what Joker for like to do okay. For like you you have later frame data if you do a dodge move I mean... without meter. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, that makes sense. I look at watch my dodge meter. Using a lot of armor moves when, sh when stuff's not like guaranteed or when he's over in New York, be careful with that. You're in burnout quite a bit. Do you try to not. Yeah, I might be in the bad habit of uh, going in burnout too much. I don't know if you try to like keep your dodge meter as best you can. I do. It depends on the matchup, but like. Uh, I, I should be careful with the amount of armor moves. It's obviously, it's fine, but like you're doing it quite a bit, so I try to like mix it up a bit more. You're okay. running out a lot. Yeah, when he's above that you like that, so that's gonna be something to use on me. Nice. Yeah, hey, Joker card. <laughs> yeah. One for it. Damn, I was trying to do the dodge in there. Get that. I would have went back to stage. He didn't really have options. You could have just refreshed your stuff and probably okay. read him a little bit better. Obviously that could work too, but it's more risky. Yeah. For probably the same reward, you're probably killing me either way. And you'd have an easier time with your refresh options. Yeah, you can't you can't do that yep. on the stage now. Yep. In there. <laughs> I just If you want to do it, just try to remember to do no. Yep. yep. He's gonna ground bounce. I would have went for you should have went for a jab right there. Like a dodge. Yeah, just wrap your ground bounce. Okay, you hit the narrow oh, dodge and jab, but I mentioned oh, okay. the ground bounce. Yeah, my brain was thinking that I couldn't even make it for some reason. Uh, so one more thing, if you hit jab on the corner of Sage and do the non-jab rapid thing, neutral tilt kills earlier than up tilt. Oh, okay. If they're DI'ing out, if they're DI'ing in, obviously up tilt kills, but if they're DI'ing out and you hit jab on ledge, neutral tilt kills. So if you were to hit jab on ledge here, if he's DI'ing out, do neutral tilt. If he's DI'ing in, do up tilt. If he's giving you that much space, I just recover normally. You're gonna whiff the dodge attack. Okay. He's burnt out. Time to go. Yeah. Still, if you missed because he was in burnout with it, you could have missed. Oh, and that killed the Yeah. Just um, like matching think... dodge. To get away from no, that. You would match an attack. You were burnt out too, so your dodge would have been like oh, okay. no iframes and you would have so you match attack. Um I think you should be rolling jabbing more. Okay. You give him a different look when you're approaching. I'll try to do that more. Obviously don't abuse it because well, you're gonna burn out fast, but like he's playing on the he's not like jumping around like a maniac, so you can give him some different looks, try to get him to the air, then you can play your standard air game. I'll also be trying to ice a little bit more in neutral. And if he's just running out your side, you can armor through it. Good confirm. Yep. Very hard move to punish. That balloon, you're. Oh, shit. His balloon is like. Not insanely hard to punish, I think a little bit hard, but his dash attack is ridiculous. 
I just focus on recovering right there instead of trying yeah. to reverse the situation. But nice. He's not adapting to that at all. Every time he's above you, he's gonna come down with an attack because your GSC stops into. Yeah, he's not adapting to that at all. Okay. Just ice, and if he runs out, you armor it, to be honest. It seems like that's what he's doing. He's not using spit, so. Stop flying when he has balloon right there, it loses yeah. six shards, and you lose the interaction, obviously. God damn it, dude. I thought it was below. I right, big hitbox. Gotta disrespect it. Should have done the dare. No, yeah, good. Kind of gets some taking used to, but. Yeah. Let's keep playing and try to remember it. Nice. Good in there. I did know. Good. My god, Joker card with the fucking. Three others. Yeah. That's crazy. That's great. Don't fly, don't fly. Yep, I was trying to bait it out a little bit. Nice. Wow, I didn't know that one could like. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I want to keep doing the jab. <clears throat> there, but my brain is just like, um, I'm trying to win, so I, I kept going for the, just like the full jab. Yeah, He's on my mind at least. Yeah, was, you have some really good tips during it. My brain, it's hard for my brain to like take it up, take it in, but it is very helpful. You could also cancel out of ice with some um, dodge jab. That's very strong if somebody's trying to approach ice is solid. I mean, it has a decent amount of end lag, but it's pretty hard to punish for most people, especially if you cancel it early. Yeah, but I, yeah I think the biggest thing is trying to get the BNB consistent and remembering to uh, ice more and dodge in jab because you get so much off a of jab. Like just from the ice or icing, but then cancel it with the dodge? Yeah, you can okay. ice and then dodge jab. Or you can just dodge. Like, if they do a big enough move, you can just dodge back and then like wait for any whiff points of your choice. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know some characters, they just go super aggressive right when they see it. Yeah. Joker's character was decent answers for ice. Side B is definitely a strong response. All right, I gotta get the jab down here this time. Could have punished that with jab. Then up the jump. Jab ends here. It's a very deceptive hitbox. He hits very hard. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't even go through my mind, so it's really good to know. What the heck? Nice. Three times a weekend is so crazy. True, I cannot believe it was five at one point. Three nerf Wonder Woman say five sacks a weekend. Oh hell no. I oh hit yeah. Box, but not her, that is insane. <laughs> and you said when I like go up for a, like a follow up up air to finish, they usually go down to, or do you just look for the read? Because sometimes you can't. Or like if I hit him up in the air like that, because sometimes you can confirm an up air, oh, but up sometimes air, you have to like read. Uh, mid percent up air is true. I okay. always go for the up air. And after that, like if it doesn't kill them. Oh yeah, just... then I just look, look for the fall down. I just like walk under them. If they do an attack, obviously you armor through it. Oh, so you go back on the ground and wait for them. Because they're yeah, more like, up, okay. I don't double chase, just so I have access to my armor moves. Yeah. There you go, a little dodge and jump. There we go. Would you have up tilted there? Or is that still like a better option with the neutral no, I mean, tilt. it didn't really matter would have killed, Either but uh, I think okay. she was like mid stage, so I think up tilt was like better. It's closer to mid stage, I think. It mostly depends on DI for the most part. If they're okay. DIing out, neutral tilt's better. If they're DIing in, up tilt's better. Yeah, that makes sense because they're probably expecting the up tilt, so if they're like DIing left, it's going to help you with the nair. I mean, I'm not 100% uh, sure how like DI works or as far as the like most beneficial direction to hold it because you think like, oh, let me hold the opposite direction, but it's. Not really how it works, is it? Oh, so you want to uh, 90 degrees from where you're getting hit, but the problem with that is up tilt and neutral tilt send in different directions. So if you're, uh, if you're expecting neutral tilt and you're trying to DI to the corner, you'd be like DIing more up, but you don't want to DI up when you're getting hit by up tilt, obviously. So it's like, that's why if they're DIing out, neutral tilt's better because they're going to go to the side blast one faster and neutral tilt does that better. If they're DIing in, that's going to send them up faster, which is what up tilt's good for. So it's like okay. a green on the DI. Ah, uh, see? 
I actually might hit her if I do the nair instead. Yeah, you, sh you should be icing when she's down though. Or she was in burnout, so you could have went for the out special thing with a belly flop on her. So she couldn't really do anything about it. And she could out special, but just a knowledge checker just to see if she knew what to do. That would have been a good dodge and shot, but the box is there, so. Good. That nice. whiffed. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You, you have to hold forward. Like, if they're D angle away, you have to take your momentum forward. Oh, wait, do you do you see sick or nah? Um, not typically. That I'm makes not... it a little bit harder than. Yeah, that's probably why that's. I try to use C sick at least, at the very least, for that, but it's, it's more often if you use it in general. So you use a uh, C sick to actually do the dare attack? What that yeah, means? I use C sick to do there because you have to take your momentum forward because you have to be moving forward, but that's hard to do if you're not using C stick, obviously, because you have to attack okay. and stuff. Like, it's possible, but. No, it's. And message up so good. Yeah, I need to learn to count because sometimes I. Not perfect with it. Mm -hmm. It took me the longest time. I think Zay was like, oh, yeah, you have to like hold it long enough. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's a nice job. That's crazy that people like figured that out. Like, I think because the meteor part of up tilt hits with the jab, jab, up tilt, it might kill earlier than the non jabs and up tilt. So if you're going for up tilt, I think maybe jab, jab, up tilt might be more optimal mm. because the meteor part of it hits. And it, or what's the reason it would be more or potentially more? Not because the meteor part of up tilt hits. So there's a different, there's actually like, depending on where it hits, it does more. Well, like, up tilt's one hit. It's not hitting more. It's just a meteor part of up tilt is hitting. Like it's a. Uh... Yeah. So the meteor part, like the yeah, because they're closer okay. to your body. If you if okay. you do the non jabs, they get pushed farther away. If you do it one two, they're closer to you. So like a more that I'm assuming that's why it seems to have more knockback. Okay, actually, I, don't I was know just trying to mean. understand. Definitely, that, I mean it, that makes sense. There's just probably a lot of intricacies that I don't understand about this game, where it's like, oh wow, that actually does matter, and and why wouldn't that be true if I did it again? Oh, maybe it was. It is. Okay. It's because you have to hit with the meaty part of jab, so you have to you have to hold forward. If you have the tip of jab, jab there wouldn't be true. A second on. Okay, sure. So it's jab, jab, or do you do jab, jab, down air? Or it's is it... jab, there, jab, jab up to so. Okay. Oh, Sarah. Up only be only be up to only is true at higher percent. So at zero though, you have to go for Sarah. Up to because up to has more startup, so you have to be in his on a little bit longer. Okay. God damn. You don't it. have to. You could do jab jab detail. My problem with it is it's more of a DI read, so it's a little bit yeah. harder. So if jab jab down so it's easier for you, you can do that as well. Yeah, reset it. It might be so. Right. Do jab jab detail. Like just from here or after the. Yeah, but you have to dodge though. Yeah, see that's the thing. Could you do all the jabs and then that be true still? No. Okay. Just because you don't hit with the, you hit with like the end of it rather than. Yeah, the jab pushes them out so they get more DI influence. Is that true, the Nair? I just accidentally did that, but. At zero, I want it. It depends on the character. Sarah is always true no matter the character. And Nair, because it has more start it depends on the character and percentage. Yeah. I mean, this like stuff is really good because my. There, there you go. go. All right, I'll try one more time then. I actually did that apparently. Do you ever use dash attack? Do you just like uh, throw it out, or do you actually try to like combo it? Um, I rarely use it. If somebody's like not jumping like a lot, a lot though, I'll throw it out just to keep them modest. But I don't oh, really sure. use it. I think it's too slow. Oh. Sweet. What were your initial thoughts of my gameplay or just everything you've seen so far? Um, yeah, it's not it's not bad. Um, obviously some things you can improve on, but yeah, it's not yeah. pretty good, obviously. I wish him to improve, but you know, I just gotta get that combo down because that's I think that's essential to him this patch with like the tech update. Um, and then you just do the, is that how you finish it? The after the jumps here, you just like kind of back off and reevaluate. Yeah, it's a combo, and it's just and just try to read them. Okay. And if they're on, I just say, remember, don't go for that mid percent. Don't go for upset there. Go for uh, jab, jab, detail. So you send them down, then just ice because they're on wall. Then try to read their option coming up. Have you ever done the math on like how much extra damage you get from the five percent? No, damage? but it definitely definitely helps co power. I know that a lot. I'm not sure about the damage though. 
damn it. Almost. I'm st I was that <laughs> dog back is looking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he kept jumping up in the air. I was like, wait, let me try this. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, it sends <laughs> to the moon. He's that's a little it, more that, consistent because you have to read. Like, yeah. Because that's something they did. Right in. to be true, you would have had to do turnaround job instead of forward job. Okay. That's why I do job there. You don't have to worry about it, but the job of details easier. Just go for it. Good confirm. Good dodge and job, ice. Shit. That's what I wanted to do. Make sure you're grounded when you're icing so you can jab for if he comes up or do your armor moves. So you choose to do so. Yeah, good work. And there it is. The grind of the, <laughs> Yeah. The grind of Grandmaster. Three RP at a time. Yeah, I think if I uh get the you know that combo you're showing me, use it utilizing the ice. Yep. The tips about just jabbing or uh, mashing when they're trying to do combos when they're in uh burnout. That's all really good. Well, I don't want to take all your time away, so I appreciate you coaching those three games. Like seriously, let's no problem. Huh? Insane help for me. I'm gonna, and since it's recorded, I can uh, easily go back if I miss stuff. Yeah. I guess any final thoughts, any advice for the Superman mains, any one thing to remember kind of thing? Uh, yeah, ice is really strong. I think that's what you should be using in neutral most of the time. Uh, obviously, dodge and jab. And that bread and butter combo is really, I think, those are the most important takeaways. Perfect, yeah. I agree. I mean, just seeing you play and uh, learn those in the lab. Did you see any improvements when we were 1v1-ing, like, from... Since yeah, you started using mid and jab, and the combo was definitely more consistent. I just uh, focus on when somebody's on ledge, instead of chasing, I feel like it's just icing, and then just catching their approach when they're coming up, the wall is stronger. Oh yeah, Crazies, there you have it! Anthos, the one and only. Top tier. Highest placement in tournaments, I think. The most wins on Superman. Huge shout out to him. I will link his stream in the description if you guys want to check him out. If he does stream tournaments, because he's insane. Thank you once again, Anthos. Means a lot. No problem, huh? He's gonna do it to me. <laughs> Let's be real, it's the suit. Got the cheater cyber suit on. I'm cheating? You got the... Your, your <laughs> eye frames are gonna be hidden when you... <laughs> no, the gold skins actually should be cheese. You can't see the eye. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Oh my god, that was, that was good.